Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So, I have uh, my Google OnHub here, or one of them, and I'm working on adding some more to my network. Uh, OnHubs are a super good deal right now. Uh, they're, they are a few years old, but they work exactly like Google Wi-Fi does. I'll link it down in the description. Uh, I picked up a few of them for 75 bucks a piece here recently, which is really good. Which is a really good deal, and it's cheaper than Google Wi-Fi is anyway. <coughs> but the cool thing about them is once you have your first one, like this one right here, uh, then you're able to add subsequent um, Google on hubs or Google Wi-Fi that will m create a wireless mesh network, which is really super handy, except for um, I had previously added one of these and everything went super smooth, but this was a couple of years ago. Um, but now that these are older, it seems like the app and the software that ships on these things is no longer working well together. Uh, so no matter how many times you try to add this as a mesh point in your network, uh, it has issues and it's not able to add it at every single time. I talked to Google support even a number of times. So what it comes down to is the software on the OnHub needs to be updated, uh, but you can't plug this um, Ethernet port into just any Ethernet port in your network. So on this other OnHub here, you can see we've got a second wire coming out of it. You can't use that one to plug into your router. You actually have to plug it in from your original modem. So it comes from your modem and straight into the OnHub, and then you have to set it up as if it was a new OnHub and you're creating a separate network for it. So I'm gonna show you that process really quick and just show you the steps that we have to go through uh, just so you can see how we get this thing updated. And once we get it updated, then we can stop the process and add it as a Wi-Fi point in our network. So the first thing we'll do here is uh, plug in our ethernet port. And again, this is coming straight from our modem or straight from your ISP and plug that into the internet port there on the bottom of this on hub. This is the TP link on hub, by the way, I'm not sure if this is exactly the same for the Asus version. And then we'll plug in our power. So we're getting a little bit of a light glowing color there on the top of the um, on hub. It's a blue color looks like. Yep. And now we'll move on. And what we're going to do now is tap on set up Wi-Fi point and we will begin this process so I'll let this kind of play through as much as I can I will probably pause and skip some sections but all right gonna get started and now it's asking me which one of my networks I want to add to and normally if I were trying to set this up as a Wi-Fi mesh uh, on hub I would just tap on the network that I want to add it to but in this case we're gonna say create new network and then it's going to look for our device. Uh, the OnHub has Bluetooth built into it, and I'm pretty sure that's how it um, establishes the initial connection, and this sometimes takes a minute or two. And there it found the Wi-Fi point. Now it says to get close to it, that's because it's going to send a wirelessly, or an audio signal so that it can tell the code to the phone for how to connect. So here we go. All right, it almost does this every time with my phone anyway, something went wrong, just hit retry and it usually connects on the second time. All right, and now it's just verifying that that Ethernet plug or cable that we just plugged in is connected correctly. And then here we go. This is the page you want it to get to, installing the latest software. And so it'll go through the process of installing the new software. Now, this cannot happen, it seems like, if you plug that Ethernet cable into a different device on your network or into the subsequent ports or your LAN ports. It doesn't seem like it works right in downloading and installing the update. I attempted it multiple times and it can't install the update wirelessly either. So you have to plug each on hub directly into your original router 
before it will uh, connect and download and update. So we'll come back here once it's finished updating. And now it's installing the software. And now it's checking the internet connection. The router itself has to restart a couple times. I don't know if it's a couple times or just once. Um, but basically you'll see in the top part of your screen of your phone that it will uh, kind of connect and disconnect to the network multiple times. Because trying to connect to that new or to the setup Wi-Fi network. So there you can kind of see it's hopping back and forth. And it takes a couple minutes for it to eventually latch on. And there it just said uh, preparing our Wi-Fi point. Um, but I don't actually want to set this fully up. And uh, I've done this previously and it works fine if you just exit out of the process now. Our main goal was to get the um, software updated on the Wi-Fi point. We don't actually have to set up a separate network. So we're going to X this off and hit exit. And that will... Um, basically put this back into setup mode and now we can set this to do whatever we need it to do. Uh, so it's ready to be added as a Wi-Fi mesh point or uh, as a primary Wi-Fi point, it doesn't matter. But the main goal was getting this thing to update. And the only way to get it to update, like I said, <clears throat> is to connect it directly to the internet provider and then go through that process that we just did. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, as far as adding it as a uh, mesh, Wi-Fi mesh point, I'll just show you uh, the steps really quick. I don't know if I'm going to fully set this one up here because I might put this one somewhere else. But uh, our goal here, or what we need to do, is unplug the Ethernet cable if you want it to be wireless. Because if you have the Ethernet cable plugged in, it'll try to create... Uh, a wired mesh network uh, but we don't need to do that if you have that you can do that uh, so we go here and hit set up Wi-Fi point and we're gonna go through those first couple steps that are the same or similar and then we would hit add to uh, whatever network we want so in this case we'll put it on this network all right and now we're gonna place the Wi-Fi point in the basement right now I'm not going to keep it here but and we'll look for our device it found it now it's going to talk to it And now it's adding the Wi-Fi point. So the, it never even made it to this step before with the older software. It would just get stuck again and again. And you can see this is going pretty fast, actually. All right. making very cool sounds. And then it wants us to test the Wi-Fi point, make sure it's working correctly. And everything's looking good here. And we got it. So that Wi-Fi point added perfectly into the wireless mesh network, exactly like we were, like I've been trying to do. So we are pretty much good to go. So I guess, since I'm not technically going to leave this one here, uh, we're going to go through the process of removing this Wi-Fi point. And all we have to do for that is go to the Wi-Fi points and select the one that we want to remove, and then remove device. So we will go ahead and factory reset this one, and we'll be ready to move it to a different location. I have a different network I want to add this one to. So, all right. There we go. So that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show you. Just wanted to show you the process of updating the Google OnHub. And uh, yeah, 
If this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. And uh, yeah, check the link in the description for Google OnHubs. I'll also link to Google Wi-Fi. Google Wi-Fi will be a little bit less finicky because it'll it's the newer product. Um, but I personally really like these Google OnHubs, especially the TP-Link ones. So, all right. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.